Okay, we're doing a... Uh, there we go. Okay. I don't have kind of level mission has on that, so parts, use bikes and medpack. Okay, that's fine. Oh, remains, what's he got? Them crates. Awesome. Okay. Okay, this is okay, doing really well on destroying this guy. Mm, what's in this room? Smash torch of joint one. And there we go. Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. Hmm. Okay. We've got what we came for. We should get going. Um... Pure cast code, adrenal, adrenal strength, and energy shield. That sounds good. How dare you invade my chambers? How rude! I am a personal guest of Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. What? How dare you speak to me like that? I could ask Dalek to have you flayed alive for such insolence. Don't work for Dalek. Then what? You... Plus, assassins! Go <laughs> save me! That's right, we are assassins, and you're... Oh. Okay, so... And just like that... Another botched... Save me. Okay, we've got some stuff there. What's in this one? Oh, nice. Got some credits. And this guard has more credits. We got some cards, cards in here to slice. Mm-hmm. 
Press the heel. Hmm. Huh. Uh, no one dropped anything. Dead. Great, it's awesome. Okay, let's see how it goes. Yeah, then we can't do anything special here. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving this place empty of all enemies. Alright, we can And that's all I need to do. Okay. Use access card and disable the hangar security. And there we go. Time to leave. Damn no Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or Wow, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. Okay, uh, let's... You may have me outnumbered and outgunned, but if I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Damn those Sith! They'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears! Right, I'm gonna grab all this. How can I help? Uh, then I suggest we move on. Yep. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Sounds good to me.
Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in... Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Well, he's a pleasant boss. Okay, so there's one more thing to do, then I don't have to worry about it ever again. Bye bye Malik! You lost! You failed! Ah. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets! You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Okay, let's start shooting ships. I hope these shields could hold us in case I shoot like an idiot. Alright, let's do this. Oh, I got one. Okay, I got a couple. Damn it. Okay, I got a couple. Okay, one more. Come on, come on. Get close enough for me to destroy you. Yes! Dantooine. It seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. Yeah, well, it's, uh, for now, yeah, at least. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of the entire planet. I know Mission must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I'll meet you outside the ship. Okay.
I've spoken briefly with the council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come, they're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. Okay, so I can't really switch it out. <sighs> Hopefully this is the last time I have to hear that blasted You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Thank you very much. No, I suppose you did not. I apologize. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Okay, so taken care of a severe tongue lashing Jedi. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Uh, I don't think you really should have said that. I think Bastila has a rather adverse reaction to the idea of being rescued. Yes, the High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant, but we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Okay. Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Uh... Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Such pride, such arrogance. <sighs> this one is already on the path to the dark side. As are many who are not given proper training, Master Vrook. Only through our guidance can we hope to lead those who have strayed back to the path of the light. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training. Though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order, but you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead. Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila. You and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations.
Okay. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Okay. No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? I just sit off my. You got it. Okay, that's sad. Mission and Carvanasi. Okay, that's my team. Okay, let's give you your points. Right, so... Um, Mazard's its constitution. Skills. Treat injury. Fates. And Mission Veil. Skills. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Yes, what's on your mind? You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Skills of an elite commando. Um, Karth, you've been by my side throughout all this for um, throughout the entire entirety of Taris. Did you not see me miss almost every shot? Seriously, I almost, no, oh, plus he collapsed um, every other battle 